Serious self. Discipline and cultivation of immortality. Can that be called cultivation? That can only be called wasting time. Shame. I started my cultivation in three years and achieved a small success in five years. I don't have as many rules and regulations yet, I don't know how comfortable it is. Three hours after being caught back by the Xinglua immortal sect in front of the mountain gate, by Jean, who had just arrived at the Great Yen country, said proudly. Keywords of the novel I, by Jean, am full of righteousness without pop-ups, I, by Jean, am full of righteousness txt complete collection download, I, by Jean, am full of righteousness latest chapter reading. In chapter 1, an inner ghost appeared among you. You are listening at novel full dot audio. In chapter 1, an inner ghost appeared among you. Oh my goodness, curiosity really shouldn't be too heavy, especially in the immortal world where people's hearts are not ancient. By brocade grabbed a shovel with a melancholy face, dug the soil in the Lingji garden one by one, and dug a pit about half a meter in diameter and nearly one meter deep in front of her. Immediately, he took off the silver patterned ring worn on his left middle finger, hesitated for a moment, and then threw the ring into the pit, burying the excavated soil with a shovel. What is thrown into the pit is not lost love, but a storage ring. Bai Jin didn't really care about this ring, the price of the space ring was not expensive, what really made him feel sorry was the magic tools and spirit stones stored inside. But this ring cannot be hidden, because his true identity is the demon child of the Hahuan sect, nowadays, being forced by villains to lurk in the prestigious and righteous Star Network Immortal Sect, once one's identity is exposed, cramping, skinning, soul-tearing, and feeding to monsters can be considered mild. A batch of pull magic tools and a crotch spirit stone, both of which are falsely claimed by Bai Jin, who claimed that his family had suffered a huge upheaval in his childhood and had to become bandits, cannot explain them clearly. In order to reduce the danger of revealing his identity, Bai Jin took advantage of the Xinglua immortal sex master's perception of nature. It was not light, and he dared not even use magic. He took a shovel and planned to start destroying the body. As long as the storage ring is hidden and the secret techniques of the Hahuan sect are not used, Bai Jin feels that the risk of identity exposure can be reduced by at least 70%. Who, Bai Jin took a breath and wiped away the non-existent sweat from her head. She shook her head with a mournful expression and said, Regret. He was originally fishing in the Hahuan sect, but the witch sisters said they wanted to form a convoy and go on a half-month tour to the Bo Opera House in the Yen country, and then go to the elegant Wanhua Pavilion to listen to the Qing servants playing and singing. As a result, Bai Jin had just arrived at the border town of the Yen country and planned to go to Jianbao Pavilion to purchase snacks. However, he saw a group of people dancing on the roadside, and out of curiosity, he and other ordinary people gathered to watch. Bai Jin exchanged a glance with the skinny old man on stage, who was as thin as Chai Lu. Just because of such a glance in the crowd, Bai Jin felt a whirlwind. When she regained her senses, she had already completed the apprenticeship tea ceremony and became the chief disciple of the first annual Life Star Taoist in Wenyao Peak afterwards, Bai Jin found out that the cultivators of the Star Network sect were not dancing the Great God, they were setting up formations. Let the burning lamp-shaped magical tools ascend to the sky, forming a barrier for exploration through the exploration of the barrier, if there are demons in the city, they will be suppressed by thunderous means. If there are demons, they will be executed with a sword. If a child with excellent talent is found, they will be captured back to the mountain gate this formation is called, lamp instrument, also known as the, three feet formation of scratching the earth, by the demonic cultivators of the Hahuan sect. Bai Jin was discovered for her talent, which is why she became a cultivator of the Star Network Immortal Sect at the speed of light. He almost regretted it until his intestines turned blue although Xinglua Sect is a prestigious and upright sect, compared to its ability in divination and deduction, Xinglua Sect is most famous for its current sect leader. Also known as the Merciless Immortal, the master of the Star Network, whose original name and Taoist name are no longer remembered. 
people only remember its ruthless and terrifying power. The ruthless immortal has only one killing word throughout his life, often killing his entire family and destroying the vitality of a hundred miles. He is definitely more responsible than a demon cultivator and deserves the title of ruthless and righteous. He can be called a merciless immortal by those who cultivate demons, and the level of crazy criticism from the Xinglua sect leader is evident. Bai Jin didn't want to be lit by the divine soul, which is why she got up earlier than the chicken, dug the earth harder than the cat, and hid the identity token ring of the demon sect. But this is only to reduce the risk of exposure, and cannot be considered completely worry-free. Bai Jin has been planning to take the opportunity to escape from the Star Network Immortal Sect, which is like a human purgatory. There is nothing he can do now, and at the same time, Bai Jin has no hope for his fellow senior sisters and brothers. They are either playing wildly in the Bow Theater, or probably enjoying life in the Wanhua Pavilion when they suddenly came to their senses and realized that their junior brother had lost contact, it must have been during the preparation of the Huanzong round. Bai Jin is full of confidence in her senior sisters and hopes that the Ma Xiao of the Hahuan sect will have a sense of responsibility. It is better to hope that she can defeat the ruthless immortal and become the new head of the Wenyao Peak of the Star Network sect with her appearance and physique. Junior brother, look at you. It's like the hard work of watering the spiritual plant garden and medicine garden. How can I trouble you? Leave it to me, my elder brother. Bai Jin carries a shovel and walks to the top of Wenyao Peak. Halfway up the mountain, the disciples who just got up see him, and they swarm around like they see some treasure on earth. Some people helped him carry the shovel, some people helped him rub his shoulders, and some even pulled the white brocade and began to shake, acting like a pretty girl. Although Bai Jin has just started his career and is only in the year of tying his hair, his strength and talent are outstanding, and he is highly valued by the first scholar of Wen Yao Feng. He is one of the few disciples who can step onto the verdant courtyard on the mountaintop. Stop your disgusting behavior and tell me directly if you have anything to do. Don't make the atmosphere strange. Bai Jin's face was full of disdain, and he shook off his wicked senior brothers who were stuck all over his body. If you want me to help, you also need to know something, otherwise, junior brothers, it will be difficult for me to handle things, he said the senior brothers in front of me have a clear idea of what they want to do, even if they don't mention Bai Jin. Although Xinglua Gate teaches basic cultivation methods, in order to learn the skills of the leaders of various peaks, one needs to undergo tests of varying difficulty in arranging the leaders. The test of Wenyao Peak is very simple, which is to climb from the mountainside to the top of the mountain and reach the body of the Sui Ming Star Taoist, in order to receive careful guidance from the first seat of Wenyao Peak. Then he jumped from a named disciple to an elite disciple. If a named disciple cannot become a regular employee during a certain period of time, they will be assigned to the category of external disciples responsible for the communication between the sect and the outside world. At that time, it is absolutely impossible to enjoy the resources of the sect and practice carefree like we do now. They all aspire to become permanent employees, but the mountain climbing test of Wen Yao Feng is extremely difficult. The height of Wenyao Peak is only about 6 miles, but what it truly tests is not physical strength, but the hard power of knowledge and cultivation. Climbing up from halfway up the mountain, there are poisonous creatures everywhere, as well as various plants with different effects and fierce monster groups. To obtain the guidance of the Sui Ming Taoist, one must either demonstrate innate talent in knowledge, rely on knowledge to avoid all poisonous plants and plants, and understand the weaknesses of various ethnic groups and monsters. Either rely on hard power and fight all the way from halfway up the mountain to the verdant courtyard at the top of the mountain. The senior brothers surrounding Bai Jin are all scumbags. They want to obtain the distribution map of demon beasts and the number of vegetation types with different effects from Bai Jin. They are also prepared with props to counter them and obtain the conversion quota in one fell swoop. They would pester Bai Jin as soon as they saw her, hoping to obtain intelligence from the inexperienced junior brother in front of them. After all, Sui Ming is a Taoist who excels in refining elixirs and cultivating spiritual medicines. 
She is a strong cultivator in the cultivation world at the level of a land immortal. No one can ignore her teachings, nor can anyone ignore her network. I really want to formally become a disciple and become a spiritual child next to the Swaming Taoist. Unfortunately, they all underestimated Bai Jin's intelligence. Bai Jin is an honest person from the Hahuan sect. He has both emotions and righteousness, but he doesn't have money. That's not worth it. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 25% You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 25% A jingling sound of both being poor. Getting rid of the entanglement of the Marshall brothers, by Jean carried a shovel and continued to walk up the mountain. She did not show fear when walking on the mountaineering road where other people avoided like snakes and scorpions. Those senior brothers had never seen the Swaming Star before, only heard its name without a deep understanding, and were so afraid that they turned the mind of the Swaming Star Taoist into something like a raging beast. But the fact is, in the cultivation world, Swaming Star is a gentle and virtuous fairy, skilled in driving the five elements with technique, proficient in pharmacological knowledge, and has a powerful divine power of flesh and white bones. As long as she does not die on the spot, she can be saved. Even in the Hahuan sect, there is a high level of popularity. Bai Jin still remembers what his senior brother said before his death. If it is possible to give the Star Taoist a lifetime of love, I am willing to offer my fellow senior brothers and sisters a hundred years of longevity. I swear to the heavenly demon. On the mountaineering journey, as long as they do not die on the spot, the poisonous creatures and monsters raised by the Swaming Star Taoist will send the named disciples who fail the test to receive treatment. I don't know how to throw mushrooms into the mountains and forests, so if I fail the mountain climbing test, I will be beaten at most without any physical side effects. At most, the psychological shadow is a bit heavy. Fury In the mountains and forests, there was a threatening roar. The cobra, which was four or five meters long and had thick legs, stood upright with its upper body and its glasses wide open, rushing towards the stone steps to block the way. It glared fiercely at Bai Jin who was climbing the mountain. Life restarts. The light blue aura twined on the shovel, and the white brocade waved the weapon directly to give the demon snake a big push. The demon snake hit by the shovel didn't even have time to rise. The snake body had already fallen to the residence of the registered disciple halfway up the mountain, and the whole demon was in a coma with empty spiritual power. As a demon child of the Hahuan sect, Bai Jin has practiced the holy scriptures and techniques of the Hahuan sect. Her physique is slightly different from that of ordinary people, and her meridians are relatively thick, with the power to steal magic. The charm of magic cultivation lies in this. It does not require diligent cultivation to obtain powerful divine powers, and can even forcibly devour the cultivation of others and transform it into one's own personal cultivation. Each demonic sect has a different root, but the Hahuan sect's root is to steal roots. Low-level magic cultivators can steal enemy spiritual energy, while advanced magic cultivators can even steal presence and qi luck. So, Bai Jin Chao likes the Hahuan sect and can quickly advance without hard cultivation. It's simply not too satisfying. A serious person who sharpens their skills and cultivates immortals should be the first to choose rocket upgraded demonic cultivation. But this characteristic of stealing spiritual power is now one of the reasons for Bai Jin's headache. Expose the stealing characteristics, and the person will cool down Brother Day, the Star Network Immortal Sect led by the Heartless Immortal. It is very terrifying brother. This is a physical change that cannot be hidden, and Bai Jin can only act according to the situation now. Hiding the ring and avoiding hand-to-hand -hand combat can ensure a chance of exposure of approximately 5%. There is still a 5% chance that someone will discover that they are a hidden inner ghost in the Star Network Immortal Sect, I really don't know why Master Swaming is raising so many monsters on the mountain. They are all starting to flood. A shovel knocks the snake demon down the mountain, and Bai Jin meets a wolf demon on the way up the mountain. 
Most of the monsters encountered are during the Qi refining period, and some can reach the foundation building period. They are spiritual pets raised by the Swayming Star Taoist to take care of the courtyard. To be honest, they are all very spiritual and know that their own masters are a bit cunning. They often rely on the identity of being the spiritual pets of the Swayming Taoist to go halfway up the mountain and claim to be their fathers, bullying their newly recruited named disciples. Ranging food rations and relying on one's strength to massage and loosen bones all belong to basic exercises. Bai Jin has been living in Wenyao Peak for half a month and has already understood the situation in the mountains. Although it was a bit difficult, it took Bai Jin half an hour to climb from the mountainside to the courtyard at the top of the mountain. He has a special treatment and does not live halfway up the mountain like other named disciples, but rather naturally lives in the estate at the top of the mountain. Bai Jin is also a small demon child carefully cultivated by the Hahuan sect, with great talent and strength. Compared to the spiritual vegetation at the foot of the mountain and the lively atmosphere of life halfway up the mountain, the manor on the mountaintop is unusually quiet. At the end of the stairs stands a tall wooden gate, and brick and tile walls separate the inside and outside of the courtyard. Surrounded by a large number of beautiful flowers and plants with unknown meanings but emitting a strange fragrance. It's still early now, Master Swayming Star probably hasn't woken up yet. Bai Jin glanced at the sky and lightly leaped over the high wall, landing on the ground, attracting a group of poisonous insects and monsters to turn around and look at him for no apparent reason. What are you looking at? I haven't seen anyone do morning exercises before. Bai Jin looks at them strangely, as if nothing happened, puts the shovel back behind the door, and goes to the artificial pool in the courtyard to wash her hands. It's okay to stare at me when you wake up later than me. Master takes care of your family and courtyard, and one or two of you stinky and shameless sleep in. The exposure of a guilty identity is attributed to the exposure of a guilty identity. Bai Jin is still very upright in his daily life. Humph. Bai Jin waved her sleeves and walked towards the emerald green courtyard, leaving behind a group of ghostly beasts and poisonous insects. At present, only Bai Jin and Sui Ming Xingdao live here in the Emerald Green Courtyard. As a new apprentice, Bai Jin needs to greet her master's chamber every day. Of course, all his sensible behavior is pretending, with only one purpose. Make Sui Ming Xing feel that he is a child to teach, and make him feel that he can entrust important tasks. Then he will have the opportunity to go out with his fellow senior brothers and sisters to slay demons and eliminate demons, or to do good deeds and accumulate virtue. At that time, Bai Jin will be able to drop the witch sister to come and use the Krypton talisman to teleport the Huanzong turn. Although I am in the Star Network, my heart is in the Hahuan sect. After passing through the front courtyard and atrium, Bai Jin arrived at a separate courtyard surrounded by a circular glazed wall in the back courtyard. Here, the trees are shaded and the ground is covered with green grass. There is a towering emerald green giant tree, surrounded by silence, and all the chirping of insects and birds disappear completely. Only a giant tree rooted in the earth and thriving, with its canopy reaching towards the clouds in the sky. The main trunk of the towering tree is embedded with a sleeping dark green-haired woman, whose limbs and half-body are all immersed in the tree. From the perspective of Bai Jin, the body exposed outside the tree trunk appears majestic and majestic like a mountain. Sleeping deeply, feeling the natural life star, sensing someone stepping into their own cultivation ground, slowly opening their dark green pupils and looking at the spiritual child under the tree, their eyes slightly confused. Bai Jin looked at the first swayming star of Wenyao Peak on the tree and tentatively asked, Master, are you stuck? Do you need me to go up and help you? The entire giant tree is a spell evolved from the power of the swayming star, allowing her to take root in the earth, feel the flow of spiritual energy in the entire earth, and thus comprehend the use of the natural way to move towards higher levels. This is the first peak of Wenyao Peak in the Xinglua Immortal Sect, a powerful person who has stepped into the realm of land immortals and is known as the Earth Immortal. 
In the realm of cultivation, the honorific title of human immortal refers to a cultivator in the three realms of Jin Dan, Yuanying, and Huashan. They have the ability to penetrate the earth, but cannot live alone from the human community, so they are praised by ordinary people as immortal beings. And the earth immortals, on the other hand, are even more so, able to survive alone from the human community and have the ability to penetrate the sky and earth. In a blink of an eye, they can see the characters of the earth immortals, who are like disasters appearing, with every move and gesture. Heavenly Immortal Bai Jin has never seen such a person before. Perhaps they have all been killed by the heavenly calamity thundercloud, right? He had traveled to the world of cultivating immortals and had been possessed by Bai Jin for six years. It was only then that he was able to step into the stage of building the foundation for cultivating immortals from an ordinary person, despite the presence of special cheats. He is far from being a strong earth immortal. Stepping on the symbol of the realm of earthly immortals, not hungry, not invaded by cold and heat, every move and gesture, like a natural disaster appearing. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Swayming Star You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Swayming Star Is it time for breakfast? The towering tree twisted and sank, and the branches collapsed and rolled inward like tentacles towards the woman in green dress. In an instant, the towering giant tree was left with only its roots supporting the swaying star, slowly retracting into the mud and sending the fairy like a poem or painting to the ground. Sui Mingxing was dressed in a light green open-breasted skirt, standing on the roots of a tree, like a fairy active in the mountains and forests. Looking at her, one can imagine a slowly unfolding natural landscape painting, feeling the sound of birds singing and the fragrance of flowers. The swaying star, who had fallen to the ground, looked at the newly recruited spiritual child by Jean and asked. Later, I slapped my master and looked at him who had just woken up with a hazy beauty. Bai Jean was not in the mood to appreciate it at the moment, only feeling filled with grievances. I came to greet you early in the morning, and the first thing you said was, did you have any food to eat? It's like when I say I kill without blinking an eye, but you ask me if my eyes do it. Do you deserve my hard work of pretending to be obedient? Is there a problem with what I said? Sui Mingxing's face was full of confusion as he looked at Bai Jin, who was staring at him in disbelief, and said, Life is not satisfactory in this world. Without hobbies to soothe emotions, it's not enough. It's easy to get addicted to it. You also need to cultivate some hobbies. Of course, going to Golan or Bo Theater is not recommended as a teacher. There are many complex teachings and traditions inside, and your martial uncle was previously twisted to the bone by a demon cult woman in Golan. The road to immortality is long, and 8 out of 10 unsatisfactory things will happen. Without hobbies and hobbies, it's not possible. Not being able to release the accumulated pressure in one's heart can easily lead to evil fire attacking the heart and releasing oneself, ultimately falling into a countdown to becoming possessed by evil. As a master, Sui Ming Xing is always ready to educate his disciples on how to practice correctly. She prepared for this for a long time, because Bai Jin was the first spiritual child from Sui Ming Star to be officially accepted and returned to sit down. For the disciple who is highly likely to inherit all the skills, Sui Ming Star Baby is very tight. The white brocade in its wild state not only entered the realm of building foundations at the age of 15 or 16 when it was tied with hair. And he also possesses a strange destiny, with his lifeline flying like a drunken cultivator wielding a sword, with undulating waves in and out of seven. Sui Mingxing has studied destiny and believes that there is no chance in the world, only inevitability. No matter how small an encounter is, it will definitely affect future destiny. A person with a unique destiny like Bai Jin must have a hard life like a golden cudgel, and Sui Mingxing likes those with hard lives. He should be able to bear his heavy burden. Have any poisonous insects escaped recently? Walking side by side in the emerald courtyard, Sui Mingxing frowned and looked at Bai Jin beside him, saying, Last night, 
while practicing, I suddenly realized that there were wild bees, waves, and butterflies beside me, which seriously affected my cultivation. The Sui Ming star is good at driving the natural Tao and wooden Tao, often evolving into a giant tree to comprehend the natural Tao of heaven and earth. Such a mysterious and mysterious giant tree often attracts bees, waves, butterflies, or pests to randomly bite or decay holes on the tree evolved from magic, causing Sui Ming star to be unable to calmly comprehend the laws of nature and the world. So, Sui Mingxing raised a large number of toxins and fierce monsters on Wenyao Peak to achieve the goal of extermination, and refused to disturb his cultivation by the wild bees, waves, and butterflies, but recently, I don't know what's going on. The number of pests that poisonous insects and monsters used to be able to intercept has suddenly increased. Perhaps spring has arrived, and poisonous insects follow their instincts to reproduce in the primitive forests. Bai Jin thought for a moment and answered her master's question with a more scientific reason. Is that so? Sui Mingxing nodded thoughtfully, calculating in his heart to go to the primitive forest later and complain to a friend who sells insects about it selling fake products. How long has it been since I bought it, and all of it disappeared in a flash? Returning from the glazed courtyard to the atrium, Bai Jin and Sui Mingxing sat together in the dining room, waiting for breakfast to be delivered. Although Sui Mingxing is an earthly immortal who can rely entirely on the spiritual energy of heaven and earth to survive, as she said, eating is not to satisfy one's hunger, but purely to satisfy one's hobbies. She likes to eat and prefers to eat until she is full. By the way, disciple. Sitting at the dining table, Sui Mingxing looked at his absent dot minded disciple with a smile on his face and said, In a few days, the school of Xinglua immortal sect will start classes. Do you need master to accompany you to register in the school? Hmm class. What class is it? Thinking about the problem, Bai Jin was completely stunned when she heard what her master had said. Do cultivators still need to study? How come I haven't heard of this before? It's not my first time cultivating immortals, don't lie to me. Nowadays, cultivation is different from the barbaric era, where every technique and knowledge is finely divided. The cultivation world is not unchanging. In ancient barbaric times, there were abundant natural resources and treasures on the ground, and cultivators could become immortals and live freely by eating. Later, when the heavenly materials and earthly treasures were consumed, the cultivators did not have such a satisfying way of cultivation. They needed to rely on cultivation to absorb the spiritual energy between heaven and earth, and use their bodies as weapons to refine and transform. As more and more people practice, the rules of the world have changed, and there are also more restrictions and variables. The most well-known limitation is thunder robbery, as there are more and more routines on the path of cultivation, making it increasingly difficult to become an immortal. Sui Mingxing is becoming a true master for the first time. When she chose the teaching route of apprenticeship, she chose a conservative teaching policy that is safe and not prone to accidents. She didn't want to wake up from the tree one day, and her chief disciple Bai Jin had already fallen into a demon and become a giant in the demon realm. After all, this is also her first time, unlike other Star Network sect leaders who have experienced countless battles. Be cautious, there must be no mistake. In terms of techniques, I will teach you. The most important thing for you to go to the school is to engage in general education. I don't want you to be like your senior uncle. Sui Mingxing sighed and said, Your martial uncle has great talent on the path of cultivation, and he is the most outstanding chief among the disciples of our generation of Xinglua sect. But she never loved studying, she has always lived her own way and suffered a lot of uneducated losses. Such foolish things as accidentally eating spiritual plants, almost losing one's soul, raiding other forces' strongholds, and almost being sold off. Your martial uncle often makes mistakes, and I hope you can take it as a warning. Where do you come from, an elderly fool? Bai Jin rose in her heart, and then asks excitedly, will master organize extracurricular activities if he goes to the school for further study. With the guidance of Sui Mingxing, it seems that he has seen an auspicious day for his escape. Naturally, 
practitioners value wealth, dharma, land, and opportunities. Sui Mingxing's face was full of positivity and he said, you don't have to worry about having a teacher to support you in terms of wealth and land. I am also good at magic. You just need to worry about whether you can find a suitable Taoist couple in the school. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or a woman, but you must choose someone who can support and progress together. And going out. Ah, this. Bai Jin felt a little guilty when she heard the first half, but her face was immediately shocked when she heard the second half. You are the head of a righteous sect, how can you be more evil than me, the one joy demon child? Hmm. Did I say something wrong, master? Why is your face so frightened? Sui Mingxing looked at Bai Jin, who was silently away from him and looked at him with a mixture of frightened expressions, and asked with a hint of confusion. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Taking the Demon, Seeking Votes You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4, Taking the Demon, Seeking Votes, this old bark master's mouth is full of wolf and tiger words and phrases, not writing online articles is really a waste of talent. Under the guidance of Sui Ming Star, Bai Jin had mastered the wooden cultivation method taught by Sui Ming Star and some righteous spells that could be used during the foundation period by dusk. Although living together for almost half a month, Bai Jin, who was crooked and had a crooked figure, still had no words for Sui Ming Star. Just like the Taoist couple issue mentioned in the morning, according to Bai Jin's interpretation, it refers to couples practicing Taoism. But Sui Ming Xing doesn't think so. She believes that Taoists refer to like dot minded partners on the road of cultivation. At that time, Bai Jin was really scared out of her wits, almost thinking that her new master was some kind of homestead girl who lit the midnight oil and studied at night. The feeling of eating soft and hard rice is quite good. Returning from the glazed courtyard to the bedroom door, Bai Jin glanced back and saw that it had evolved back into a giant tree, becoming like bark stuck to the trunk. The master pushed open the door. Master Sui Ming Xing is really a good person. He treats Bai Jin like an heir to the throne, even imparting her optimized wooden cultivation techniques to her. This is very illogical. Although Bai Jin has not paid attention to the situation on the side of the prestigious and righteous sections. But he also knew that from the beginning to the teaching of cultivation methods by masters, disciples of prestigious and righteous sects needed to do five years of tedious labor and physical exercise, undergo mental tests, and undergo the first experiment in order to have the opportunity to inherit. Although Bai Jin joined the demon cult, she was not a heartless maggot, so she could naturally feel the goodness of the Sui Ming star. Unfortunately, Master Sui was one step slower. Compared to the sexiness of the witch sisters, Master Sui Ming's cuteness and gentleness are not worth mentioning. As Bai Jin reminisced about the past in her heart, she opened the door to her dormitory. The room was pitch black, but with the sound of the door opening, pairs of red pupils lit up, and bloodshot pupils opened to stare at Bai Jin. Don't look at me so harshly. After eating my candy, you are my people now. What's wrong with working overtime? I didn't let you start your career again. The oil lamp lit up to illuminate the interior space, and there were six snake demons lurking inside the building. Some poisonous insect leaders also glared at Bai Jin in extreme dissatisfaction. Bai Jin stepped into the dormitory and locked the door, sitting on a chair with a golden knife and pouring a large amount of spirit stones from the remaining ring in her right hand space. He has two space rings in total, one representing the identity of the Hahuan sect and the other being a regular space ring bought on the street. The left ring contains magic weapons, elixirs, and massive spiritual stones, while the right ring contains daily necessities and a small amount of spiritual stones. Which of you comes first? I never go for free. Bai Jin placed one hand on the pile of spirit stones and shook a glass cup in the other hand, saying, don't be polite. Friends who want to obtain spirit stones, please sit on the stage yourself. The monsters hesitated for a moment, but in the end, a sizzling viper couldn't resist the temptation and rushed to the table, 
revealing its belly and closing its eyelids to let Bai Jin move on its own this is not the first time that the chief disciple of Sui Ming Star Taoist has allowed them to earn extra money, they all understand the rules. Of course, they have also thought that if violence can solve the problem, why should they be inferior? However, the master's new apprentice was particularly evil, and five demon beasts during the foundation building period tried to rush forward. As a result, it was not fair to say that the demon had to bow its head under the eaves of the house. Rubbing and squeezing, take all the snake demon venom from the tabletop into a glass cup. I'm here to reward you. Bai Jin took out two spirit stones from the table and casually threw them to the snake demon, saying, What about you? Who is here to sell venom? Without me, I can close the stall. One foundation building period, two cultivation spirit stones. Gone. He actually raised the price and collected it. Without any hesitation, the snake demon and poisonous insects all lined up honestly to wait for the picking of the white brocade. Spirit stones are also graded, like the spiritual stones used for cultivation held by Bai Jin, which can be used by cultivators in the human immortal realm to assist in daily cultivation. The other high dot level spirit stones are mostly used in formations and more cost dot effective activities such as alchemy, and are rarely directly used to absorb and assist in cultivation. Fur, the snake demons crawled out of the house with slow steps, and the poisonous insects couldn't even spread their wings to help each other leave. Welcome everyone to come again next time when you lack spirit stones. Sui Ming Xing felt that the lack of toxins in the courtyard was not an illusion, or perhaps the toxins had quietly slipped away they were purely harmed by Bai Jin, and since Bai Jin moved into the emerald green courtyard, countless monsters and poisonous insects have been harmed. Anyone who has been harmed by Bai Jin needs to cultivate for at least one and a half months. After seeing off all the monsters and poisonous insects in the room, Bai Jin closed the bedroom door again and looked at the glass cups filled with venom on the table. Come out. Soul. Bai Jin lifted his right hand and stretched it straight out. A semi-transparent light blue soul lay on his hand, without any facial features, only a strong upper body in thick arms. His lower body was like a tornado twisted from clouds and smoke. Eat them all. The monster summoned by Bai Jin did not emit any magical fluctuations and silently drifted away from Bai Jin's right arm to the front of the square table, with an uneven crack in his face without facial features. The soul and poison, along with the glass cup, were all stuffed into their own mouths to chew. After a while, the soul opened its thick palm, and a murky red fruit floated in its hand. Not bad, it has the magic of twenty spirit stones. Bai Jin reached out and picked up the cloudy fruit, raised her right hand to let the soul monster in front of her attach to her arm. When her arm was lowered, the soul disappeared without a trace. Just now he paid out 20.4 spirit stones, which were transformed into turbid fruits equivalent to 20 spirit stones with spiritual power. It may seem like a blood loss transaction, but in fact, it takes about half a month to refine more than 20 spirit stones, even with the assistance of a formation to absorb them all. But you only need to eat the fruit in front of you, and you can obtain the spiritual energy of 20 spirit stones, which can withstand the hard training of ordinary cultivators for 3 to 5 months. Bai Jin put the fruit to his mouth and took a bite. Visually, it looked like he was biting into the main artery of the red fruit. The spiritual energy spurts out with the intention of dissipating, but the fruit pulls them away and prevents them from escaping. They can only wait for Bai Jin to eat them all one by one. The venom of demon beasts contains their ascetic magic, and soul spirits can swallow all things into their stomachs to refine impurities, transforming them into pure spiritual fruits without side effects for specific people to swallow. Bai Jin worked hard during her physical training period, but during the period from qi refining to foundation building, she practiced by consuming fruits made from spirits. If it weren't for being arrested by the good master Sui Mingxing on the spot, Bai Jin would probably have used the taking the demon technique to continue practicing until he became the pride of all members of the Hahuan sect. Hiccup tastes good, but it's a bit spicy. Tomorrow, 
find some poor monsters and buy some supplements. After playing all of these, those who had previously cultivated themselves will also have a good health, which will allow me to continue sustainable fishing. By Jean stretched lazily and walked towards the wardrobe to get a set of clothes, wash up and get ready to sleep. Living in a villa on the mountaintop is extremely boring, especially in a verdant courtyard with few ghosts and shadows. There are only by Jean and Sui Ming star here, as well as a bunch of black-mouthed and black-faced house-watching monsters. At night, Bai Jin is really bored and panicked. He can only play three entertainment projects. One is to honestly cross-legged and practice sitting. The second is to go to the glazed courtyard and sit next to the giant tree evolved by Sui Ming Star to catch insects. Either lie in bed early and cover up for safety by Jin Li naturally chooses to go to bed early and wake up late. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 the School Palace of Xinglua Gate. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 The School Palace of Xinglua Gate, Master, will the leader of Xinglua Immortal Sect attend the initiation ceremony of disciples from each peak. A new day, a new storm, Bai Jin encountered the biggest crisis in her life. The School Palace in Xinglua Immortal Sect is going to hold an entrance ceremony, and the fearsome, ruthless immortal, is highly likely to attend the opening ceremony of the school where Bai Jin is located. That's the ruthless immortal of the Star Network, who makes the old demon even tremble at the news and is even more bloodthirsty than a demon cultivator. I, Bai Jin, will leave my words here today. If there is a ruthless immortal at the entrance ceremony, there will be no me. Even if I jump off Wenyao Peak and hit my head on the spiritual pool at the foot of the mountain platform, I won't see the merciless immortal. The leader will not attend. As if thinking of something, Sui Mingxing looked at the precious disciple beside him with a smile and said, Did you hear the legend of the sect leader from other senior brothers and want to see the cultivation ability that is closest to being a banished immortal in the world? Then you need to be careful. The leader has a cold and xenophobic personality. If you go up rashly, you may be frozen into an ice sculpture by the cold. The infinite heavenly sovereign is above, what goodness. Bai Jin let go of her worries and relaxed her body, which was ready to pretend to be sick at any time. Let's go. Sui Mingxing tugged at the white brocade sleeve and asked him to come closer to him, a layer of misty radiance rising. The next second, Sui Mingxing led Bai Jin out of the trunk of an old tree halfway up the Wenyao Peak. Halfway up the mountain, all the named disciples have gathered neatly dressed, with a solemn expression on their faces. Seeing the Sui Ming star who had performed the escape technique, they all bowed and bowed together, saying, We respectfully welcome Master out of the pass. The Sui Ming star has not descended for a long time, and the ones sent out on weekdays are the Jianhua Ramets. The one who packed by Jin back to the star network gate was the Thunderbolt Wood clone dispatched by Sui Ming Star to suppress demons. She has been practicing in the Emerald Green Courtyard all along, and the named disciple was immediately excited when he saw the Sui Ming Star Master. If you perform well, wouldn't it be possible to become a regular on the spot if you were favored by the Sui Ming Star Taoist? Hmm, is everyone here yet? Sui Mingxing came to the disciples and opened his divine sense to scan and confirm that no one was absent. He said, so let's go. As the words fell, Sui Mingxing led everyone towards the foot of Wenyao Peak. Without using any Taoist techniques or spatial abilities that blinded everyone's eyes, he led his disciples down the mountain in a very ordinary way. The named disciples gathered in front of her were all newcomers who had just started this year, so she didn't use any fancy skills to directly take them over. But instead, I chose to take my disciples on a mountain road to the school palace, letting them all know where to go for general education in the next year. Bai Jin followed the side of Sui Ming Star, curiously surveying the surrounding scenery. He has become familiar with Wenyao Peak, but it is still the first time he has left the location of Wenyao Peak to expand the map. Upon arriving at the platform in front of the Xinglua Immortal Gate, Bai Jin attempted to find a place to escape, but unfortunately, 
the entire Xinglua Immortal Gate was enveloped by a protective mountain formation, and there was probably no possibility of escaping from the main gate. Tour. Sui Mingxing suddenly spoke up, which startled Bai Jin, who was concentrating beside him. Dot. Bai Jin turned her head to her master in confusion. Look over there, Sui Mingxing's lips curved slightly as he gestured to his disciple to look at the person coming down from another mountain and said, I don't like to speak ill of people behind their backs, but remember not to play with the cultivators of Yuming Fong. If possible, try not to get too close, otherwise you may get struck by lightning. Sui Mingxing approached Bai Jin with a whispering expression, whispering to her in a super low voice, fearing that her precious chief disciple would suffer a great loss. Humph. Sui Mingxing's voice was extremely low, even the disciples of Wen Yao Feng who followed behind might not be able to hear him. But a middle dot aged man in black clothes, who was coming down from the opposite mountain, glared at Sui Ming's star and snorted coldly. Then he pulled a young man next to him, covered in bandages and revealing his round and bloodshot eyes, and walked towards the bamboo forest. At first glance, I thought I had met my fellow brothers from Wanhua Valley. Looking at the guy covered in bandages and dressed in white clothes, Bai Jin's eyelids twitched slightly, almost wanting to find an opportunity to assassinate him. A noble and upright person may not be able to discern his true identity when he does not actively use the Hahuan secret technique and steal magical properties, as he has not practiced the Hahuan sect scriptures for a long time. But if they are both members of the demon realm, the chance of recognizing Bai Jin is extremely high. Uncle Gangnijun is your mentor's star. Sui Mingxing did not notice, and his disciple Bai Jin kept his gaze fixed on the bandaged man, still introducing him to the Xinglua sect cultivator he had encountered along the way. There is a chief disciple of Yuming Peak who cannot play together. There are the chief disciples of Zhu Lu Peak who can explode, and the chief disciples of Roxiang Peak who can easily get angry at a touch the chief disciples of the other four peaks of the Star Network Immortal Sect of Sui Ming Star are well dot known, constantly educating Bai Jin on their strange and bizarre deeds after a round of criticism, Bai Jin began to praise her again, with an excited expression on her face. She said that her own disciple is the most sensible, and she can learn whatever she teaches without any stubborn temper. There are no other chief disciples with strange constitutions, and their talents are extremely high. As soon as they are picked up, they will build a foundation. Master Kai Mingxing looked at Su Mingxing not far away with an indifferent expression on his face. The bandaged youth he had trained glared at Bai Jin with bloodshot eyes. The chief disciple of Zhu Lufong has rolled up his sleeves and is ready to tear off Bai Jin. The chief of Ruxiangfeng was lying in the arms of his master, crying bitterly. But Sui Mingxing seemed unaware, still holding on to Bai Jin and laughing and reciting his anecdotes about the remaining peaks. She deliberately came to show off her baby apprentice. When there was no biological disciple by her side, when Sui Mingxing and his senior brothers and sisters gathered together, they all spoke up and boasted about their precious disciple like self deprecation. Every time Sui Ming star is stuffed, he can't say a word. Because she hasn't personally passed down any disciples. Now it's rare for her to turn around, so of course she needs to show off enough to her fellow martial brothers and sisters who used to show off. My precious disciple is well behaved and sensible, with exceptional talent and a particularly strong destiny. By Jean. Dot. Master, why don't you hang quietly on the tree? You see, as soon as your jade mouth opens, I'm ready to take jade cicadas in my mouth. Envy. The other disciples who followed Sui Ming star almost envied Bai Jin with their real names. The first time I came out to see the world with my master, he directly led Bai Jin to worship at the top of the mountain and met the heads and chief disciples of other peaks. This may not be a treatment of a son. As for the teasing of Sui Ming star, the head of Yu Feng will not take it to heart at all. Sui Mingxing is extremely skilled in pharmacology and elixirs, and she is also a practitioner of the wood method. She is an iron-clad divine doctor, and she has good relationships with other senior brothers and sisters in the same sect. 
senior brothers now seriously suspect that there is a problem with Bai Jin's identity. He's afraid it's not personal, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Three Authentic Magic Gates, Seeking Votes You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Three Authentic Magic Gates, Seeking Votes Your first lesson is to remember how to counter-kill the demonic cultivators when encountering them. A middle-aged man wearing a white Taoist robe and a thin gauze jacket looked coldly at a group of disciples sitting cross-legged on a futon in front of him, honestly looking at the podium. I am responsible for teaching you how to uncover and eliminate the evil sex hidden in the crowd. You can call me Deacon Yen or call me Mr. Yen. Director Yan's expression was as cold as ice, and as soon as he entered the door, the magic power of the golden elixir period began to fluctuate. All the noise and voices in the lecture hall were instantly suppressed. At this moment, the majesty of the human immortal is evident, making him appear particularly indifferent and unfriendly. Now, we officially begin the first lesson. Director Yen was on the podium, telling the disciples of Xinglua immortal sect about the terrifying and distinctive features of the demon sect. The first lesson is to briefly introduce to the disciples how many orthodox demon gates can be divided in the cultivation world. He is talking about the first, Flower Valley, a famous demon gate that relies on the production of poison, poisonous insects, and sacrifices. Mr. Yen is such a fierce friend. Do you think we will be detained by him later? A little chubby guy wearing a khaki black embroidered Taoist robe, while listening to the class, nibbled on candy and poked by Jean, who was listening with a stuttering expression on his face. The masters are all waiting outside. If we want to stay in the hall, wouldn't we be very embarrassed? Will we be scolded by the masters when we get home? Xiao Pangduan's face was full of worries and entanglements, and he asked by Jin's thoughts on the side, showing a sense of concern for gains and losses. His master is not like Sui Mingxing, with a gentle smile on his face, making him appear particularly gentle. When my own master becomes violent, it is even more terrifying than any demon cultivator. I don't know if you'll stay or not, but if you talk to me again, it will definitely harm my stay. Bai Jin glanced at Peng Dun beside him and directly refused his invitation to take a break. Now I am teaching a course on identifying magic, and if I don't listen carefully, what can I do? Master Yen said where I did not do well, so I immediately corrected myself. I will never let you discover that there is actually an inner ghost of the Hahuan sect in the Star Network Immortal Sect. Bai Jin wished she could use a carving knife to carve Master Yan's famous sayings and admonitions onto bamboo slips and read them day and night. Bai Jin. As soon as Bai Jin turned around, Director Yen on the podium suddenly called out his name. Dot. Bai Jin suddenly stopped her heart and stood up from the futuan, looking at Master Yen on the podium with a frosty face. He is Bai Jin. Director Yen raised his finger to Bai Jin and said, If you want to delve deeper into the study of Wanhua Valley, you can consult him. Bai Jin is a disciple of Wen Yaofeng Swaming Star and has considerable expertise in pharmacology and elixirs. Momin Wanhua Valley is skilled in crafting poisonous insects and poison. Sui Ming Xing is extremely skilled in pharmacology and the art of elixirs, which once overwhelmed the demon cultivators in Wanhua Valley, making them unable to even catch their breath. If you want to delve deeper into the techniques for restraining the Flower Valley, it is imperative to seek advice from the cultivator of Wen Yao Feng. So Director Yen just called Bai Jin up to become the class representative and discuss with other students how to kill those drug addicts in Wanhua Valley. Thank you, Deacon. A smiling expression appeared on Bai Jin's face, as she was about to strike the axe at Master Yen in her heart. Well, Disciple Bai Jin, please take a seat. Director Yen nodded and asked Bai Jin to sit down before continuing his lecture. Wanhua Valley is just one of the demon sects, belonging to a type of demon cultivation that can be countered with preparation. Their harm to the cultivation world is relatively minor, but the demon cultivators of Wanhua Valley have the power to poison even the lower level of ordinary people, killing a city or even a country. Disciples, 
please ask by Jean for more advice. Yes. After being swept by Director Yen, the disciples couldn't help but speak in unison and agree. Take notes and take the exam. Director Yen nodded lightly in satisfaction and said, then let's start briefly talking about the second Hehuan sect. Bai Jin instinctively sat up straight and took out a two-finger wide jade slip from the space ring in her right hand. Master Yen, please let me know. I will keep it in mind at any time. In the second lecture, the Hehuan sect does not mean that their strength and influence are weak. On the contrary, they should be the strongest demon gate in the cultivation world. Yen Shishu's face became serious and solemn, and his internal magic power involuntarily appeared. The exposure of mana is absolutely not something that should happen to human immortals, unless it occurs when their emotions reach a certain threshold. The intention of harmony, the direction of happiness. These two sentences are the first and only rules of the Hehuan sect. They are all a group of demons who indulge their hearts to the extreme, only following their own inner desires, and are no different from the crazy demons who go crazy and become demonic cultivators. Director Yen spoke in a low voice. Master, I don't like to hear what you're saying. Director Yen was speaking on stage, and Bai Jin, who was sitting cross-legged in a futuan listening, suddenly became unwilling to get up. What does it mean to be no different from a person who goes berserk? We can clear our minds and guard the clarity and conscience of the spiritual platform by taking action, allowing our hearts to be closer to the natural world and better understand the laws of all things. This is the advanced cultivation method of the Hahuan sect. Don't believe it. Try going out of the Star Network Immortal sect and see if I can drop a group of senior brothers to argue with you. When encountering the demon cultivator of the Hahuan sect, if the realm is not higher than the enemy's realm, leave directly without any interaction. The most despicable aspect of the Hahuan sect is that if you cannot win, you will use the thousand mile transmission jade slips to call out friends. Director Yen still hasn't said anything, and there are also classes within the Hahuan sect. Some ordinary members of the Huan Huan sect only practice magic at a speed of thousands of miles per day and possess a large number of poisonous secret techniques. But if you encounter a disciple of the Huan sect who has been passed down personally, it is simply an experience that subverts cognition. They can use contact to steal the mana that others have worked hard to extract as a means of countering the enemy. The magic scriptures they practice should not exist in the world at all. The reason why Director Yen assigned the Hahuan sect to the second lecture is very simple the intention of harmony and the direction of joy. Everything is empty, indulging in passions. Those guys from the Hahuan sect only care about inner pleasure. Once they encounter setbacks or difficulties that make them unhappy, they will immediately turn their heads and gallop away without waiting for even a quarter of an hour. The Hahuan sect's demonic cultivation can only cause harm in one place for a period of time, and does not plan a major event that will shock the cultivation world for a hundred years. Shouting friends and calling them despicable. They are clearly people from your prestigious and upright family who always take a van as soon as they leave. We don't have people waiting for you to come and beat them up, do we? Bai Jin disagrees with Master Yan's words and begins to question his expertise in demonic elimination. Even feeling like skipping classes and fishing, listening to Master Yan's words is like listening to them, and it's not even as exciting and has a strong sense of immersion as what I said. Here is a brief introduction to the Hahuan sect. If you want to delve deeper, I will talk to you about the knowledge of eliminating demons every Monday throughout the year. Starting from the third lecture now, it is also the most harmful demon gate to the entire cultivation world. Time is tight, so I will accelerate the teaching speed and not let the leaders wait outside for a long time. Okay. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 By Jean and His Companions You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 By Jean and His Companions Brother Wei, Goodbye Bai Jin stood up from the cattail and looked to the side. He lay on the table, writing furiously, punishing him for copying a thousand times. Little Pang Dun, who was covered in cold sweat, 
glanced at him and said, Don't worry, I won't tell the head of Zhen Ruixing about your great achievements. Wait a minute, brother Bai. I still need to copy 200. Why don't we go together? Are you serious? Are you sure that when my master and I were present, your master wouldn't hit you with all his strength? Bai Jin was shocked by Wei Benliang's words, and this guy's master will definitely hammer him later. He dared to speak up and persuade the intern physician, as well as the super-skilled doctor who can turn flesh and bone into white. Are you serious? Aren't you afraid that I'll use you for courage training? Brother Bai, walk slowly without seeing him off. Wei Benliang was taken aback by Bai's words and immediately began to respectfully send Bai Jin away from the school. Simple and silly. Bai Jin shook her head and didn't pay much attention to Brother Wei. She walked straight outside the school hall, preparing to go outside the palace to finish the first day of class and fight back to the mountain with Sui Mingxing. Today, the heads of the various peaks gather together. It's really not a day to tidy up and run on an auspicious day. Hmm. Bai Jin saw a man with a bandage and looked at him with a puzzled expression. Brother, do you want to cut off your sleeves and split your heart? The bandaged man standing at the door, he remembers, was the chief disciple of Yuming Feng, who was wearing a bandage by the side of Kai Mingxing. But what is he doing by being so close to himself? Are you Bai Jin? As soon as the bandaged man spoke, he looked the same as his appearance, with a rough and smoky hoarse voice. I am the chief disciple under the Qiming constellation, Jin. Hey, where are you going? My master doesn't allow me to play with those who have been punished by heaven. Without hesitation, Bai Jin Tu waved his hand and walked straight to the gathering place of the disciples of Wenyao Peak, preparing to leave the school. At first glance, Brother Bandage appears to have come from a bad source. He should be an arrogant and arrogant battle maniac. He has little interest in challenges from others, and winning may not necessarily bring rewards, but may also expose his own uniqueness. If you lose, your master probably can run to Yumingfeng Mountain and Kaimingxing to have a small and old fight. Bai Jin. Listen to people talking. Bastard. Brother Bandage clenched his small fist, his blood-stained and turbid eyes widened. With a swift step, he reached out to restrain Bai Jin from leaving. Bang, a crisp and shattering sound sounded, and Brother Bandage slammed his head into the blue brick ground, creating a pit on the ground. Bai Jin looked back and was completely stunned in place. Dot. Brother Bandage remained silent, and the bandage on his face was only slightly stained with dust, not a big deal. However, his hands wrapped in bandages tightly grasped the right foot of Bai Jin's cloth shoes, and his eyes widened. Brother Jin, did you kick your little toe? Master of the Tang Dynasty's Qi refining period. Puchi. Outside the palace, in the bamboo forest. The various peaks gathered around a tea table, discussing their recent experiences and interesting stories. Of course, what they discussed the most was still about their own disciples. The lonely and lonely Swaming Star, who used to be alone on weekdays, has made a name for himself in front of his senior brothers and sisters today, and is extremely proud of himself. Her precious disciple, Bai Jin, was promoted to the foundation building period by virtue of her talent when she tied her hair. Now, backed by the professional alchemist Wen Yao Feng, Sui Ming Xing believes that Bai Jin can be promoted to the Golden Pill period within ten years and hold high the banner of immortality. Bai Jin's talent is indeed remarkable. During the wandering years, he was able to cross the training and qi refining stages and reach the foundation building stage through ordinary cultivation methods. The first morning star of Roshiang Peak, dressed in a light blue dress like a beautiful and delicate woman, shook her head and said, Senior sister, be careful that this is an ominous omen. The talent for cultivation belongs to a foundation far more important than life for cultivators. But at certain times, it's not the case. Some people practice thousands of miles a day because they have to rush for reincarnation. 
The reason why Chen Xixing had such associations was because she heard that the leader of the Hahuan sect had adopted an apprentice, who belonged to the peerless and ferocious demon class. A strange talent who can come into contact with the Hahuan sect magic scripture during the Qi refining period but is not killed by the backlash, and even uses the Hahuan sect magic scripture to cultivate demons. If that little demon comes out of the mountain, it can definitely affect the ecology of all things in the world. She was a bit worried that Bai Jin had such a strong talent that she had never been discovered before. Now, Senior Sister just picked it up casually on the street and returned to the Star Network gate. Bai Jin may not be a lucky child, but a weapon that is used to eliminate demonic children through the blessing of heaven and earth chi. There is no ominous omen, Bai Jin's destiny is as strong as meteorite iron outside the sky. Sui Mingxing spoke up. For the first time accepting disciples, she was extremely cautious, afraid of finding any crooked disciples with ulterior motives. I have also conducted astrological deduction, and Bai Jin is indeed very suitable as my disciple. I won't tell you first, we'll meet again next time. Sitting in the Bamboo Grove Pavilion, Sui Mingxing saw the students coming out in small groups from the school palace. He stood up and bid farewell to his fellow disciples, changing his steps and scenery, and instantly disappeared into the pavilion. She finally shifted her focus from raising flowers, plants, and insects to her disciple. The first rising star of Yuming Peak gently shook his head and said, We'll help our junior sister clean up when we have time another day. He hates the poisonous insects raised by Sui Ming Star, and Yuming Peak is extremely close to Wenyao Peak. The little thing raised by Sui Ming Star often goes to Yuming Peak to harm his disciples. Bai Jin bid farewell to the disheveled bandaged brother and returned to the disciples of Wenyao Feng, leaving the school palace and walking outside with them. As soon as she left the high wooden gate of the school, Bai Jin saw Sui Mingxing slowly walking out of the shady path, with a smiling expression on her cheeks, proving that she was in a good mood. Master Bai Jin was about to clasp his fists and bow his hand when Sui Mingxing waved his hand to signal that he didn't need to be polite. He said, Are you still used to studying at the school on the first day? Have you ever encountered a stubborn and bullying senior brother? It's okay. Bai Jin's expression was slightly stunned, unwilling to discuss this matter. Because he felt that Sui Mingxing was cursing him, and it was not advisable to stay in front of the palace gate for a long time. Now, it's best to hold on to my master and leave first. Before, Bai Jin never realized that he could fight people no matter how he played. The bandaged brother who stepped forward and grabbed the ground with his head, giving him a big bow. As a result, there was a violent bullying conflict with the chief disciple of Zhu Lu Feng, accompanied by the senior sister who made Ruxiang Feng cry. Xing Luo Immortal Sex Five Elements Peak, I only provoked three, leaving only one who was punished for copying in class. However, because of this, Bai Jin discovered a rather strange thing. The chief disciples of Zhu Feng seem to have almost the same age, but Brother Bandage looks a bit older. Master, I have one thing that I don't understand. Why do the chief disciples of the first seat have similar ages? Bai Jin was quite puzzled about this, because in his inherent impression, the chief disciple refers to the most talented or strongest disciple of a faction. But the chief disciples of the various peaks of the Xinglua sect are clearly a group of talented young cultivators. What about the CEOs of the previous generation? Why haven't you seen anyone? Also, I have already left Wenyao Peak today and arrived at the Xinglua Immortal Gate, but haven't seen any strong people like elders. There are only some gatekeepers and deacons. Knowing oneself and the enemy, Bai Jin remained steadfast in his plan to run away despite being invincible in a hundred battles. Because they entered the door one in front and one behind. Sui Mingxing looked at Bai Jin strangely, as if saying, isn't this very obvious? What about the previous CEO? Master, I only have you as my own disciple, where did the previous chief come from? End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Double-Sided Stars Sui Ming Star, Seeking Monthly Tickets You are listening at NovelFull.audio
Chapter 8 Double Face Stars, Year and Fate Stars, Seeking Monthly Tickets, Get Up. Early in the morning, the moon was still hanging high, and the door of Bai Jin's dormitory was blasted by his master. Sui Mingxing crossed his hands on his waist and looked at his disciple with a bewildered expression on his face. The plan for the day lies in the morning. If you don't wake up and become a teacher, you'll have to go back to sleep. Master, take a look at what time it is. Bai Jin glanced out the window and was extremely certain that it was less than 4.30 a.m. to 5 o'clock a.m. now. So if you kick my door early in the morning, are you not afraid to see any sharp eye scenes that make your heart unstable? Although she was so roast in her heart, Bai Brocade still lifted the sheet and got up from the bed, picked up a side robe and put it on her body to cleanse her appearance. The cultivators during the foundation period, although only belonging to the category of stinky younger brothers in the Hahuan sect. But in the human world, the cultivators during the foundation building period are already among the first dot class non dot human beings, capable of using low dot level spells, refining alchemy, refining tools, arranging formations, making talismans, and sacrificing and refining their own magical tools. The lifespan of building a foundation is at least three to five hundred years, which is already stepping on the threshold of cultivating immortality. Bai Jin can even soar into the air and fly a short distance. However, the speed of flying in the air is very slow, and it can consume all the mana in three to five minutes, so it's not as fast as running. Bai Jin generally does not cast such auxiliary spells unless briefly floating and gliding down the mountain. Sui Mingxing came to kick the door so early, of course not to glimpse the health of his disciple's body. When the master and disciple had dinner yesterday evening, they had already agreed to start a new practice early tomorrow morning. Sui Mingxing has previously taught by Jin Tuna, and now plans to officially teach him the wood method of the five elements. However, Bai Jin never expected that Sui Ming's star would come and kick the door at 4 a.m. He, the tree-hanging master, usually hangs on the bark of the tree until 8 or 9 o'clock before returning from meditation. After performing the cleansing technique, Bai Jin reached out and brushed the storage ring on her right hand, took out a pot of water, drank it to quench her thirst, and walked towards the backyard with Sui Mingxing. In the glazed courtyard, without the towering trees occupying the center, the entire space became empty. There are no green plants around here, only slightly moist black mud soil remains. The exam is starting, please answer quickly. What are the three human realms in the secular population? As soon as they arrived at the glazed courtyard, Sui Mingxing suddenly turned around and threw a question at Bai Jin. The first stage of physical training lays the foundation for the body, allowing it to exhale spiritual energy. The second stage of qi training involves exhaling and forming a mist-like spiritual energy based on physical training. During the foundation period of the third realm, the mist state spiritual energy is compressed into liquid spiritual energy, which is the first realm of human immortals' golden pill. Bai Jin was momentarily taken aback, unsure of why, but still recited the content of her previous practice backwards. Very good. You're very energetic, you shouldn't have fallen asleep. Sui Mingxing nodded with a full face. Master, if you want to know if I wake up, you can actually suddenly turn around and kick me. Bai Jin strongly suggests that Master take the exam directly and not engage in any wasteful exams. That's not good, kicking is not good. Sui Mingxing shook his head, took out the embroidered brocade bag from the ribbon on his waist, and handed it to Bai Jin, gesturing for him to open it and take a look at what was inside. Bai Jin opened the tie and saw that inside the brocade bag, there were seeds that looked unremarkable. What kind of spiritual plant seed is this? No, in Liomu town at the foot of the mountain, there are two bags of chrysanthemum seeds. Bai Jin. Dot. Do we ripen flower seeds and suck pollen early in the morning? Your expression is so strange. Seeing the twitching expression on Bai Jin's eyebrows, Sui Mingxing explained in surprise, these seeds are not meant to be cooked with magic to make tea, they are your weapons. The woody breathing technique she taught Bai Jin has characteristics of growth, growth, 
and healing. As long as Bai Jin injects the wood magic spiritual energy cultivated into the seeds, they can take root and sprout. You can't evolve plants through spiritual power like a teacher right now. As Sui Mingxing spoke and demonstrated, he raised his hand and produced a plant root in his palm. Looking at the twisted plant roots, Bai Jin had a hesitant expression on her face. It's so strange but Sui Mingxing didn't pay attention to Bai Jin's expression. His expression was already strange enough before, and even a little more strange, Sui Mingxing couldn't see anything. Insertion Sui Mingxing held the hardened root with one hand and inserted it into the black mud soil, changing the thickness. The ground pierced by the roots, with the roots as the center point, began to green around, and a sea of flowers had already grown in the blink of an eye. Wood practitioners are relatively scarce, and many people are pursuing the art of gold or fire. But in fact, in the five elements technique, the wood technique not only has excellent healing ability, but also has a powerful slaughter ability that makes enemies tremble at the sound of the wind. Sui Mingxing rarely engages in battles on a daily basis, but that doesn't mean she only understands cultivation and is dull in alchemy. When she was young, she often went out with her master or other fellow disciples to slay demons and eliminate demons. When the enemy falls into the hands of Sui Ming Star, no one's mouth can withstand the root she holds in her hand. As soon as the technique of inserting tassels is used, the enemy will immediately know the cruelty of Sui Ming Star. The cultivators of Wanhua Valley have a profound understanding of this. There are many such wooden methods and destiny stars, because they are all passed down from generation to generation and have been perfected to this day as the secret techniques of Wenyao Peak. Up to now, there is basically no room for further improvement in the wooden craftsmanship of Wenyao Peak. Now you start the first lesson, let the plants in your hand sprout. Sui Ming Star loosened its grip on its roots, and the flower sea around it showed no signs of disappearing, as if it had been permanently fixed. Once hit by the Sui Ming Star, the flesh and blood body may bloom the most enchanting flower in life. Of course, it may also turn into a wooden dummy. Obey Master Bai Jin had a solemn expression on her face and bowed to her master. Some people may appear calm and composed on the surface, but in reality, their hearts have already jumped to the throat. He has been in the Hahuan sect for so many years and has heard countless fairy gossip from his senior brothers. But he had never heard of the terrifying technique of the Swaming Star Immortal. Bai Jin could already imagine that when her identity was exposed, Sui Mingxing's face was full of disappointment. She took out a plant root from her skirt and stabbed it into her mouth. Then thousands of whiskers pierced themselves, and Sui Mingxing tearfully put himself on the grill and fed it to the spiritual pets. I am a spiritual child under the zodiac sign, a spiritual child under the zodiac sign, a spiritual child under the zodiac sign. Bai Jin silently recited the Bible three times in her heart before stabilizing her panicked demonic heart. Suddenly, she felt that the seductive nature of the witch sister was not worth mentioning in the stupidity of the senior sister of Sui Ming Star. Living in the Star Network Immortal Sect is also very good, planning to run away is too cruel. After flying far away, Bai Jin couldn't imagine his master's tearful eyes. His conscience really hurt. You slowly cultivate here, and I will refine two pots of elixirs for you to nourish. I have instructed the rhubarb, and it will call you when it reaches the school's class point. Sui Mingxing looked at Bai Jin sitting cross-legged on the ground, with a serious to dark expression on his face, and nodded in satisfaction. Play and play, practice and return to practice. When practicing, one should take it seriously. She is very satisfied with Bai Jin's personality and is truly the precious disciple she has picked up, which is extremely in line with her heart. If Bai Jin knew what Sui Mingxing was thinking, she would definitely hold on to her master's thigh and say, Master, please tell me what kind of Bai Jin you like. Bai has a thousand faces, and there is always one you like. Signing successful, requesting tickets, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 me, today I'm going to take distance. You are listening at novelfull.audio.
Chapter 9 Me, Today I'm Going to Take Distance Hiccup, by Jean let out a burp and walked out of the glazed courtyard, holding her slightly round belly. Looking back, she said, Master, it's not early. I'll report to the Shuegong Pass. Please enjoy your breakfast slowly. Hmm. Sui Mingxing's face was subtle as he bid farewell to his disciple. He looked at the petals of chrysanthemums on the ground, along with goji berry chrysanthemum cake and chilled chrysanthemum tea, and instinctively wanted to cover his mouth. The disciple is too fierce. Next time, it's better not to buy edible flower seeds as cultivation props. The practice of turning plants into weapons has been ongoing for some time. When the firepower of the Swayming Star Furnace Cauldron was fully activated, the speed of pill consumption could not keep up with the refining speed. The mana value of the white brocade remained between wanting to vomit and preparing to vomit, and the progress in practicing the insertion method was extremely rapid. The only downside is that taking the pill makes by Jean feel nauseous, and her stomach is full of empty space. In addition, both the master and disciple had feelings of disgust towards chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum cake and chrysanthemum tea. I'm really tired of them. By the way, disciple, if the teacher has something to do and needs to go out, you should return directly to Wenyao Peak after class. Don't play recklessly with the disciples of other peaks, which can easily lead to bad learning and injury. Seeing that Bai Jin was about to leave the line of sight, Sui Mingxing suddenly remembered something that had deliberately made a statement. Master, please rest assured that I am a good person. I don't play with bad guys, Bai Jin said with a smile as she paused, that's great. Sui Mingxing waved his hand and urged him to attend classes early and not be late for the first month of school. She also needs to tidy up and prepare to gather with friends in the primitive forest, purchase some spiritual pets, and enhance the medicinal herbs for refining pills for Bai Jin to use. Although Wenyao Peak has a spiritual and medicinal garden, as well as a complete set of planting techniques. But there are some spiritual herbs that, if grown in specific places, have much stronger medicinal effects than those raised at home. Sui Ming Star just needs some strong spiritual herbs. Hold back. Bai Jin suppressed her excitement and quickly left the emerald green courtyard, leaping into the air and gliding towards the mountainside. The news that Sui Ming Star is going on a long journey is extremely favorable news for Bai Jin. He finally took advantage of the darkness to embark on his exploration plan, exploring the Star Network Immortal sect from under the watchful eyes of the murder demon King Merciless Immortal, in search of the righteous light that can safely leave the Star Network Immortal sect. He didn't believe that the Star Network Immortal Gate Mountain Protection Formation, which was so large that it was almost endless, had no weak defense. Good morning, senior brothers. The gliding by Jean used her magic to make her body pause slightly in mid-air and land halfway up the mountain, preparing to accompany her senior brothers to the school for classes. Good morning, junior brother. Upon seeing the arrival of Bai Jean, the senior brothers who were quite puzzled about the issue of cultivation approached with great understanding. They all took out brocade bags from their sleeves and chest, ready to ask their junior brothers some questions. With the guidance of experts, they always understand that being a person should not be too ambitious. It is difficult for cultivators during the qi refining period to pass the test of the swimming star, and there are many ferocious monsters on the mountain climbing journey. It's better to listen to the advice of a master and spend some money to seek advice from the junior brother who is building the foundation for spiritual confusion. Improve your strength first before embarking on the mountain climbing journey. You're welcome, senior brothers. Upon seeing the spirit stone, Bai Jin became extremely talkative and began to answer the confusion of his senior brothers. In front of the Qingshir Square at the mountain gate, disciples from different hills gathered one after another, walking towards the bamboo forest. The gatekeeper was also busy maintaining the cleanliness of the mountain gate. At first glance, Bai Jin looked like old acquaintances, and the disciples of Xinglua Immortal sect were taught in batches. 
the previous generation of disciples either graduated smoothly and began to travel around the world or went to the blessed land of the mountain gate, or hastily ended their cultivation career due to talent issues. The mountain gate deacon is mainly responsible for education and managing some internal affairs to ensure the daily operation of the Star Network Immortal Sect. The responsibilities of the first sect can be roughly divided into three parts. One is to teach high-dot-level powers in the Star Network Immortal Sect, and the other is to form deterrence and negotiate with other sections. The leader is the strongest member of the Star Network Immortal Sect, representing the collective will of the Star Network Immortal Sect. Once the ruthless immortal comes forward and says to kill the whole family, the Star Network Immortal Sect will really kill the whole family. The water of Xinglua Immortal Gate is very deep, and by Jean dare not dig deep. Brother Jean, your design is quite unique. Bai Jean saw a man with a bandage from Yuming Peak, who was alone and exuding a chill all over his body. He raised his hand and waved it. He was covered in bandages as usual, and his previously bloodshot and cloudy pupils became slightly clearer. However, the black short hair protruding from the gap in the bandage on his head made him look like a moldy cake. Humph. Brother Jean glanced at Bai Jean and, like his master Kaimingsing, let out a cold snort and left without paying any attention to Bai Jin's conversation. Yu Mingfeng's chief disciple, Brother Jean, is the favorite of Bai Jin among many classmates. Even the crying ghost senior sister of Ruxiang Feng is completely inferior to Brother Jean in Bai Jin's heart. He was wearing bandages not because of being cool, but purely because he was seriously injured. The injury was so severe that it was impossible to even close the eyelids, and the pupils appeared cloudy and bloodshot, as if they were unable to close their eyes. The reason why Bai Jin likes him is because Brother Jin is actually a person with bad luck. When Bai Jin saw him, his injured demon heart could always receive a hint of comfort. Of course, liking belongs to liking, but getting close to him is absolutely impossible. Bai Jin doesn't want to provoke bad luck. Bai Jin, you're bullying other senior brothers again. A burst of flames rose, and a young girl with red hair and a red embroidered gold Taoist robe lifted her flame fist and hit the bully Bai Jin. Good morning, sister. Bai Jin sidestepped to avoid the sneak attack of Chief Zhu Lu Feng, raised her hand to signal the intersection of Zhu Lin, and with a list in hand, Master Yen, who was checking the number of students, came over. There is a hot monkey senior sister here, bullying the weak and cowardly white rabbit junior brother. Don't you say a word. Master Yen. Wishing you help. Director Yen shifted his gaze away from the list and immediately saw Bai Jin teasing his senior sister, saying, this is an important place in the school palace. No noisy martial arts. How unreasonable. How dare you accuse the villains first? I saw you bullying junior brother Jean. Zhu Fu's forehead was bulging with veins, and he trembled with anger, wanting to kick by Jean. But the chief of the crying ghost quickly pulled her to prevent Zhu Fu from being punished and kept in the hall by the strict steward. Dot. Brother Jean paused in his footsteps and turned around to take a look at the furious chief Zhu Fu of Zhu Lufeng, as well as Bai Jin with a strange expression on his face beside him. He snorted and did not understand the good intentions of Zhu Fu's help in coming forward. Junior brother Jean, don't be afraid of Bai Jin. If he dares to bully you, tell me. Let him bully you. Brother Jean glanced at him and ran to his side, promising him the blessings of helping the strong and the weak. He said, I have told you many times that it was me who tripped and had nothing to do with junior brother Bai. The first time we met at the school palace was after school, when Jin Lian specifically called out to Bai Jin, hoping that he would bring a message to the head of Sui Ming Star to thank her for saving her life. As a result, Bai Jin didn't listen and chased after her, tripping and falling to the ground, injuring her little toe. Bai Jin turned around to assist, but was coincidentally caught by Zhu Fu who was passing by and saw Bai Jin holding down a critically ill patient. One move, two moves, and the unstable triangle is formed. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Bai Jin, 
Are you a man? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 by Jean, Are you a man? Brother Wei. Brother Bai. In the school palace, as soon as Bai Jean entered the classroom door, he saw Xia Pengden Wei Benliang sitting on a futuan, holding an oil paper bag in his hand. The meat bag inside emitted a strong aroma of scallion oil, making the classroom full of flavor. Bai Jean couldn't help but exclaim in surprise when she saw Brother Wei dying again. This class belongs to Master Yen, you dare to make the classroom full of oil and onion flavor. I bet Master Yen can make Shen Ruixing beat you to the point where even his biological parents cannot recognize you. Junior Brother Bai Jin is junior brother. Zhu Fu, who entered the door a little slowly, saw Bai Jin and Wei Benliang's brother and brother Gong, and couldn't resist roast. Although Bai Jinxiu is the strongest in the same class, his entry time is indeed the latest. He should be his junior brother, rather than bullying other senior brothers and sisters in the school palace. Those who reach it first, brother Bai is not mean to me. Wei Benliang did not agree with Zhu Fu's words. However, Brother Bai provided cover for him and did not let Chen Ruixing know that Chief Di Shifeng was punished for staying in the classroom during his first class. Thinking of my white brother is simply amazing. Tisk Jufu was choked again, stomped his foot, and walked straight towards his position. I also took away Ro Xiangfeng's chief love crying bag with ease, so as not to let Bai Jin ruin her. She always feels that Bai Jin doesn't seem like a good person. Brother Bai, why did you mess with Sister Zhu? Wei Benliang was quite curious and whispered to Bai Jin's side, asking. Perhaps I have a bad face, right? Brother Bai, you really love to joke. In my heart, Brother Bai has a noble and upright demeanor, is honest and upright, and likes to help other senior brothers solve their cultivation problems. After spending a month together, Wei Benliang has seen Bai Jin on his way to school more than once, answering his cultivation questions to other fellow disciples. I am also willing to answer other students' curiosity and analyze the methods of restraint in the Magic Gate Flower Valley. He also expressed concern for the famous Tian Sha Lone Star bandaged man in the Star Network Immortal Sect and did not exclude him. How could Bai, who is so generous and kind, be a bad person? Dare to humiliate my white brother like this, I won't agree. Class Yen Shushir, holding two books, went from outside the classroom to the desk and said a sentence, making the students all quiet. Before class, sir, I have something to say in front of the students. Director Yan's face darkened as he said, in our classroom, there was a malicious student who was disrespectful, disrupted the school rules, and was proud of it. I will only issue a warning to this student and will not publicly criticize them. I hope you can take care of yourself. Hmm 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 hmm, Zhu Fu looked at Bai Jin with a proud expression on his face, indicating that he had better restrain himself in the future. The teacher couldn't bear to watch anymore. However, all the students in the class, including Bai Jin, turned their gaze to Zhu Fu, who was laughing loudly. Obviously, the student who caused public outrage in the whole class was not what Zhu Fu believed to be by Jin. Dot. Zhu Fu looked at Director Yen with a surprised expression on his face. Director Yen nodded and immediately began his class, sharing the battle cases between the righteous sect of the prestigious sect and the Wanhua Valley of the demonic sect. Zhu Fu. Dot. Is the bad person actually me? What about Bai Jin? Isn't bullying senior brother bad? How can this be said in the sky? Next Monday's written test, prepare well, class is over. At noon, Director Yen packed up his books and announced the official end of today's class. The Xinglua Xian Men Academy is not full dot time, and courses are only available from morning to noon. Students can choose to have a meal at the school palace or rest directly at their own mountain and in the afternoon, each peak leader will arrange their own practice for students. Competition Upon hearing this, Zhu Fu, who was skeptical of life, immediately lit up his eyes and looked at Bai Jin, saying, Bai Jin, if you are a man in the competition next Monday, 
you can suppress your cultivation to practice qi and have a showdown with your aunt. Watching Zhu Fu, who had put down his harsh words and was proudly leading his crying senior sister Bao away, Bai Jin looked at Wei Benliang with a strange smile and said, Brother Wei, do you think we should step forward and hold on to Zhu's senior sister to explain to her? We will take the written test next week. I don't think it's necessary, Brother Bai. As soon as you go up, I wish senior sister that there will be a fierce physical conflict. Wei Benliang strongly suggests that Bai Jin should rest at home throughout the entire journey as if nothing had happened. It's boring. Brother Jean had an indifferent expression on his face, showing no interest in the play between Bai Jin and Zhu Fu. He said, Bai, what's up with you coming to me this morning? This morning, after saying hello to himself, Bai Jin seemed to have something to say to him. But because Zhu Fu Hung intervened, Bai Jin didn't finish speaking. Oh yes, Brother Jean, may I know if you're available tonight? Bai Jin said, my master is out recently. Do you want to split the sleeves? Unexpectedly, Brother Jean interrupted Bai Jin's next words and returned the words he had said when they first met, unchanged, to Bai Jin, who had been absent from action all day. It's not impossible either. Bai Jin was taken aback and smiled, of course, the prerequisite is that Brother Jin's appearance can be comparable to that of the Nine Heavenly Empress. Otherwise, Bai would not be fortunate enough to bear Brother Jin's bandaged body. Compare yourself to me, I promise you. Brother Jean spoke bluntly without hesitation. He has little interest in what Bai Jean asked him to do at night. What a cultivator can do at night in the Star Network Gate is nothing more than reciting poetry and seeking inspiration for cultivation, or watching a nun bathing in a hot spring and being severely beaten. Anyway, after the competition with Bai Jean, he pretended to pass on the message from his master and left. Why did Brother Jean say such a thing? Why do you and my martial brothers need to fight and kill each other to maintain harmony? Upon hearing the invitation from Yu Do, Bai Jin Ming refused, why don't we pee further than who? Oh, Brother Jin left without looking back. Brother Bai, Wei Benliang said with a smile, why don't we two stay up late together at night? No, I have something important to do tonight. Let's schedule a late night snack or something next time. Bai Jin hastily left a message and chased after Brother Jin, who had turned around and left. Tonight, Master Lao Shupi is not at home, and Bai Jin is preparing to go hunting a wild animal in the back mountain. Brother Jin is an indispensable replacement in the plan. With such an unlucky big black egg by his side, he must be able to encounter a large number of monsters or poisonous insects. Enough to supplement one or two years of hard work and further advance towards the realm of immortality. Brother Jean has something to say. Bai Jean caught up with Brother Jean and asked, Tell me, why did you suddenly think of competing with me? In my impression, Brother Jean doesn't like to fight and kill like Sister Zhu. My master said you're great, and I want to see if you really deserve my master's praise. Although Brother Jin's face was wrapped in a bandage, his seriousness emanated from the inside out, and he played seriously. Oh, that's it. Bai Jin nodded and breathed a sigh of relief. He thought Brother Jin saw something from him. I almost misunderstood him as Wan Huagu again, and wanted to punch him until he permanently lost his memory of today. So, let's meet tonight at Wen Yao Feng. Whether you want a competition or a written test, it's up to you. Okay, it's a deal. End of this chapter.